Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful royal earrings. I'm making them of really simple stuff, seed beads that you could buy from any beading store that are 6O size, 8O size and 11O size. And these are 10mm beads, um, you could put any type of beads you want here and any type of ear wires here. And uh, these earrings are a match to the bracelet that I showed you in my previous video and that I will link here at the top and you could make a beautiful set for yourself or for a present. So if you want to support me and see more and more beautiful free videos, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new upcoming projects. And you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. Thank you so much for watching and now I will start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so for this video what I'm going to use are 6 O beads in red color and I'm using 8 O beads in silver and red and also 11 O seed beads in red and silver. And here I'm using liver bags, ear wires, you could use any type of ear wires you want. And I'm using 10 millimeter beads, you could use bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter because it will be this part of your earring. And I'm using size O Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 six inches or 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle scissors and I'm using also flat nose pliers if I need to go through my beads and it's too hard I'm using them to pull my needle through them okay and now I will put about four feet of thread on my needle which is 1.2 meters and I will be back okay guys and now I will start by taking four beads here on my needle and I will slide them down stick my needle in my mat and here what I do is that I make a knot and I will make a knot by making a loop and going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made once and then second time and I'm pulling and now this is what I have now guys I will go through my next bead here and I will take one silver bead and I will go through my next red one and I need another silver go through the next one and I will take one more silver going through the following and I'm closing this row with one more silver okay now guys what I want to do is to put what one silver bead in the center of my work so I'm taking it and as my thread is going in this direction I'm going here to my opposite bead and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay this is what I have and I'm going to my next silver bead now I will flip my work because it's easier for me to work in this direction and I will take four seed beads okay I have my four here and I'm going through my next silver so I'm going from going out from one of my silver seed beads and I'm going through the other one okay and guess what I'm going to repeat this three more times as I'm exiting from here going through my next one and here guys I'm going through my next last silver okay and now what I do is that I'm going to through these two beads 
and here you see what I have one two three one two three and this is the middle and here I will take just one more seed bead and I'm going through all of those beads and I'm forming something like an angle here then I will go through these two beads And again, you could count one, two, three, one, two, three, and you see that you're in the middle where you add one more bit. And repeat this two more times. Okay guys, now I repeat this two more times and what I do in my next step is that I go here through my angle and from my angle I go just one bit to the center of my work, just one. Now take silver, red 8 and silver 11 this is what I have skip this tree here in the middle and go through this one that is uh, just before the edge the angle bit okay then go through the angle bit and through the following seed bit and take one seed bit one eight oh and one seed bit this is what i have then go through this before the angle and through the one that's at the angle <clears throat> then go one bit away from the angle <clears throat> and then take one silver one eight oh and one silver okay this is what you have then go through the one before the angle and through the one that's at the angle and then go through the following and repeat it skip those three beads and go through here Now this is what I have and this is your front side. This is the front side of your work. Okay, now go to this bead here that's sticking out. And in this step I will start adding red atos and I'm adding one red ato going to the next silver that's sticking out. And I'm adding three silver seed beads. Here they are. And then again, taking one red, going through the next silver that's sticking out. One red, going through the next silver that's sticking out. And here I'm just surrounding this red with three silvers. Okay, like that. Okay, and because my tail thread was in my way all the time, I cut it off camera and I'm back. Okay, now it's time to add red, then red again. And here I will add three silvers. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm almost ready um, with this row. And now what I want to do is go through this red one, through the silver, and my goal is to exit here after this red one. 
if you can do it in one movement, if you can uh, do several stitches, okay? And now I'm taking one silver and I'm going through all of those beads again. And in this row I'm going to be adding only silver beads between these red beads here. Okay, and this is my last step where I'm adding my last silver bead. And what I do is that I go out here, this uh, red one, go through all of those beads to the red one and start adding a red 11 oz around these silvers okay now i have five here and as i'm exiting from this red one i'm going through the following red okay just like that then go through all of those beads like you did before okay Then again here take 5, K5, okay, go through this red one, and now I'm exiting here at my last step, where, pay attention here, I will add only 4 seed beads, okay? You will see why in a minute. Okay, I'm adding my four here. Don't pull tight. Make them look a little bit loose. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I will go in circle through some beads here in that direction. Because I want to go back here through those four beads that I just added. Okay. You see where my thread is? Okay. Then I'm going through these beads here and I'm exiting out of the first two of the four reds that I just added. Now I'm here in the center between those beads. Okay. And what I need to take are four C beads. Then I'm going to take my one of my balls and I will add it here after my beads. And I will slide it down. Then I need three beads. Slide them down. Go back through this bead here, through these four, and now you see you're exiting in this side from this direction, so go to the other side, just like that. So when you pull, you have this stay in the center of your work, okay? Just like that. Then Go around through all of those beads and exit here to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and now I'm here and I'm exiting of this central bead here. Here I have two seed beads and here I have two seed beads. And now I will take one seed bead, I will take my ear wire and I will go through it. Okay, a seed bead, my ear wire, then one more seed bead. 
sliding those down and I'm going back in circle through this top bit here and I will reinforce this part here okay and I'm going through this bit in this direction then go through these several bits here this side and now you could make some knots and I'm going here in the center of my work I'm making a loop going once going a second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and I will repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I will cut my thread okay now this is the front side of your work where this central bead is okay and when you repeat this process one more time this is what you have you have a beautiful pair of earrings that match your bracelet that I showed you in my previous video and that I'm linking here at the eye icon so if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also like share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations thank you so much for watching see you soon